Hi, I'm Yasmin Bhatia, CEO of Uplift Education. I would like to take this time to congratulate Uplift's Class of 2020 seniors. You have reached yet another milestone in your lives. These are the moments you have prepared for throughout the last 13 years of your lives. And I'm excited for what the future holds for each of you. I know the last several months have not been the easiest for you. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, you've missed the opportunity of having your prom, an in-person senior decision day, and senior-related trips and activities. However, what you've shown throughout this time is something you'll carry with you into the next chapter of your lives, which is perseverance, persistence, and resilience. You personify these characteristics that will aid you in becoming our next generation of leaders. I am so proud and honored to now call you our Uplift alumni. Please know that wherever you go, whatever your next new adventure will be, we will always be here to support you and your dreams. Congratulations, Class of 2020. We are so proud of you and your accomplishment. Uplift Infinity Seniors, Class of 2020, you are the stars that have put the star on our floor. And uh, even though that is our mascot, you guys have definitely also been the trailblazers. You put together so much student life this year, founding our mascot. You've uh, put together pep rallies that exceeded any pep we had had previously. You're a first IB diploma class. I couldn't be more proud of you. Thanks for having a great first year with me as a director. Congratulations, Uplift Scholars, and especially my Infinity Stars. You've been on a tremendous journey over the last four years. On behalf of Infinity and the Road to College and Career Office in particular, thank you for allowing us into your hearts and for allowing us to be part of your educational journey. Many cheers to Infinity's first International Baccalaureate class and third graduating class overall. Infinity Class of 2020, go forward with brilliance, with compassion, and with a willingness to find the best version of yourself. Jocelyn Martinez. Hi everyone, I want to start this off by saying congratulations to us, the class of 2020. We've certainly come a long way. For the past six years, I woke up, got ready, for school and saw all of your faces every day. In those six years, I have learned a lot from each and one of you. But most importantly, I have learned to speak up for myself and to open myself up to talk to new people. Despite our similar backgrounds, we're all so different from each other, but our differences seem to complement each other well. As a class of 2020, we're a group of hardworking and resilient students. We've had teachers come and go and we had our peers leave. But out of everyone who stayed, I'm glad it was us. Somehow, in the span of six years, all 76 of us have managed to coexist and get along with one another. Sadly, our time was cut short. I know we all looked forward to senior breakfast, prom, college signing day, graduation, and the day we would all be free from IB. Instead, right after spring break, we were launched into a whirlwind of uncertainty and confusion. I know it was hard for us to have our personal and our school lives collide in our homes, but we did it. We finally graduated high school. We've all changed and grown up a lot thanks to our parents and teachers. And to all of the parents watching this, I want to say thank you for putting in the effort to raise all of us to get to where we are now. Graduarse de Infinity es solo el primero de muchos logros que nos esperan y es gracias a ustedes, nuestros padres, que nos han enseñado a no rendirnos. Y aunque no quisiera que fuera así, sé que uh, existe mucha gente que no nos quiere ver tener éxito por el simple hecho de ser hispanas, de ser hispanos. Pero ustedes son el ejemplo a seguir de por qué hemos llegado tan lejos. 
Así que siéntanse muy orgullosos de sus hijos que han llegado muy lejos y estoy segura que seguirán teniendo más logros. I know there seems to be more bad than good in the world right now, but I hope we can still focus on the good moments we shared. Moments that date back to sixth grade when none of us knew each other. So when we had to sit in alphabetical order in the cafeteria, it was dead silent. If they try that now, I think we might have been louder. It's crazy to think about how far we've come. And I don't think any of us imagined high school to end like this. We never got to properly say goodbye to one another. And we missed out on a lot of milestones. Luckily, we still have our memories from our trip to San Antonio, homecoming, that one day we all went to the Fruteria for lunch and then we were all late. I know we'll be able to take these good memories of each other with us wherever it is we end up in 10 or 20 years. We grew up together and managed to survive this crazy year together. So I know we'll be able to manage where, whatever comes next together. So thank you and congratulations once again to the class of 2020. Olivia Phillips. It's a pleasure to speak to you all today. I'd like to start with a few thank yous to the people who've helped us make it this far. Thank you to our parents for sticking with us through our tumultuous teenage years. Thank you to our teachers, who are the very foundation of our academic experience here at Infinity. Thank you to our Road to College team for helping us take the first steps towards our future. Thank you to the operations staff for keeping the school running behind the scenes. And thank you to Director Schwabro, who it unfortunately feels we've barely had a chance to get to know. It seems like every graduating class feels that they've had a unique high school experience. but. The Infinity Class of 2020 has had a truly special one. Of course, the coronavirus pandemic has upended our senior year, but let us not forget that our academic career has been more than the past few months. Most of us have been together since sixth grade, with a few more joining us later. Most of us haven't had a clear divide between middle school and high school. We all know everyone in our class. We haven't had the anonymity of most high schools. We've gotten a whole variety of different academic programs, be it AP or IB classes. And we've gotten the opportunity to take classes not offered to most high schools, uh, such as environmental sciences, or the opportunity to take three years of biology. Um, some of these experiences have been a source of stress and bitterness for some, but others can find something to be grateful for. But now, High school is a thing of the past. Today marks the first day of the rest of our lives. Some of us have a plan. Some of us are still figuring it out. Some of us are going to schools where the size of lectures is larger than our entire high school. Some of us are living on our own for the first time. Some of us are moving across the state or even across the country. We're all leaving behind our comfort zones. We're all seeing one of the biggest changes in our lives start to unfold. We're finally getting the college education we deserve. We're finally going on to our brighter futures. It's a new chapter in our lives, and it's going to be strange and stressful and even scary at times. Though our high school experience was tumultuous, we found some comfort in it. We knew the faces we saw each day. We felt comfortable in our surroundings. We knew the stories behind various aspects of school life. We knew the culture of our class. We knew what's, what it meant to be a high schooler. Now, all that has changed. As we've reached this next stage of our life, we are being given an opportunity to reinvent ourselves. There is no formula for being an adult like there is for getting through high school. We no longer have the same faces we've seen for the past few years by our sides. But we'll no longer be stuck in the unwavering social structures of high school. Many, us, many of us will move far away from the places we've called home for the past few years. But 
we'll be able to find new experiences and learn so much more about the world and ourselves while we're at it. We'll be thrown into completely new systems that may seem foreign, but we'll be able to adapt to them and find comfort in them. We're about to drastically change the way we go about life. It might be daunting, but I'm excited and I hope you are too. Don't let the comforts of your past scare you about the uncertainties of your future. I'm thrilled to see where we go and who we become. Congratulations, class of 2020. Now we're on to our next adventures. Nathan Aden. Judith Aguilar. Raquel Alcaraz Jiménez. Yuriria Alvarado Ortiz. Mohamed Sadiq Alzeri. Sofía Aparicio. Jaime Argüelles. Michelle Avalos. Tassim Bakhtiar. Jonathan Benitez. Samuel Calles. Genesis Castro David Serna Nadia Contreras Beristain. Dixie Contreras. Steven Cox. (laughs) 
Austin Davis. Alejandro de la Cruz. Orlando Encarnación Reséndiz. Ashley Escobar. Daisy Estrada. Marcus Estudillo. Cassandra Fogg. Gladys Franco. Lisette Garcia. Hello, everyone. My name is Cindy Nava, and I want to congratulate you on this fantastic day of accomplishments. Congratulations, Uplift graduates. I know the pathway has not been easy, and I understand it personally. As the first in my family to graduate from high school and college and growing up undocumented, I understand what it means to work hard and to be thrown rocks all the time. When people questioned me and asked if I would ever make it, I doubted myself. How many of you have ever doubted yourselves? How many of you have continued to question who you are along this pathway? I know I did, and I know I continue to do so, but I have learned many things across that path, just like all of you have. I wanna remind you that each one of you holds a tremendous amount of power within you, and that power is the power that will keep you thriving and working for the people that you believe in and for the communities that rely on you. This world is being made better by each and every single one of you. Your efforts, and your perseverance will shine throughout time. And I want you to know that success is not easy. And I think it's important that we talk about the hardships that we experience in order to get to where we're going. The only way I know is through muchas ganas, like my gente would say, or perseverance and continued effort. As you all know, that's what it took to get to where you're at today. Congratulations, Uplift students and graduates. Mario Garcia. Alejandra Garcia Solorzano. Gibby George.
Sebastian Giroux. Alexis Gonzalez. Armando Gonzalez. Brian Gonzalez. Melissa Gonzalez. Emily Guerrero Aldana. Alexis Guijarro. Zaira Herrera. Marjorie Lemus. Ryan Lewis. William McVeigh. Giselle Mendiven. Alondra Mercado. Azucena Mondragón. Saida Moreno. Danielle Morin. Lizbeth Nehera. Pamela Navarro. Karen Navarez. Mm -hmm. 
Heidi Obregon. Alize Olmedo. Maria Ortiz Morales. Hi, I'm Sent Marshall, CEO of the Dallas Mavericks. Congratulations, class of 2020. You have achieved a significant milestone in your journey of education and self-discovery. We are so proud of you. I remember standing in the shoes that you stand in right now. My high school graduation day was one of the best days of my life. I knew I would miss my friends. I knew I would miss my teachers. I knew I would miss my activities. But just like your educators, my educators got me ready to take that next step in life. That next step landed me on the campus of the University of California at Berkeley. I stepped foot on that campus and everything was so big. And that's when I knew I needed to be big too. I picked good friends. I picked great classes and even got involved in some activities. One actually led me to be the first African-American cheerleader at Cal. You never know what's in your future. Graduates, we are so proud of you. In spite of everything that's been going on in this world, you stayed focused you did not get distracted, you persevered, and look where you are right now. You have achieved something that is incredible, something that's going to put you on a continued path to success. The next few years will be amazing. They will be fun, they will be different, and yes, in some cases, they will present some obstacles and some roadblocks. But just like you've done to get to this point, you will focus, you will weed out distractions and you will work hard because hard work, as you see, pays off. I know this is not the graduation ceremony that you envisioned, but I hope it does not diminish the significance of your accomplishment. Please realize what you have achieved. It is amazing. We're so proud of you. On behalf of the Dallas Mavericks, congratulations. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of this virtual amazing celebration, a celebration of you and what you have accomplished. God bless you. Stay focused and continue to work hard and have fun. Congratulations, graduates. Anthony Pena. Litsy Perez. Madison Feifel. Andre Sam Wong. Diego Prado. Trevor Hosevall. Sarah Rajan.
Matthew Ramirez. Aisha Ramos. Javier Ramos. Jessica Reina. Alejandro Rivas. Oscar Rivas. Brisa Rodriguez. Yesenia Rodriguez. Andrea Roman. Ignacio Rosado Grassam. Mia Rosales Cueto. Onesimo Saldivar Borboa. Fernando Salinas. Ana Segovia Hernandez. Omar Tercios. Jade Vela. Leonel Vidalis. As we come to a close of this program, I just want to share a few words of gratitude to the families of our graduating seniors. Thank you for entrusting your scholar in our care throughout these years. When your scholar enrolled at Uplift, we took our role very seriously, 
and providing a safe space to learn and grow into young adults, sound educational curriculum, and a system such as our Road to College and Career team to help guide them down their pathways of choice for their future. We are thankful to all our families for believing in our mission and the goals we set forth for your scholars. And now for our graduates, thank you for all your hard work and dedication that you've put into your studies, clubs, and extracurricular activities, but also the relationships you've built along the way. Now's the time to explore all possibilities and turn your dreams into realities. No, this is not a goodbye from us, but a we'll see you soon. Congratulations, class of 2020. Job well done.